With the impending release of iOS 10 coming ever closer, Apple has released a bunch of iOS 10 betas. These pre-release software offer us an insight into what we might expect to see when iOS 10 is released this fall. There are a lot of new features and even more improvements in iOS 10. Hi, I'm Akshay from bbomb.com and today I'll be showing you 7 cool new tricks in iOS 10. First off is the emergency bypass. iOS 10 now has an option to enable it on a per contact basis. This allows sounds and vibrations from the contacts to be played even when do not disturb is on. When you open contacts, look up the name of the contact that you want to enable emergency bypass for. Tap on edit, open the ringtone settings and toggle the switch for emergency bypass. This will enable emergency bypass and future calls and messages from that particular contact will ignore do not disturb restrictions. Moving on to iMessages that saw a complete overhaul in iOS 10, you can now annotate images and videos before sending them using iMessage. And guess what? All of this can be done directly inside the iMessage app. Just open iMessage, select a contact, tap on the digital touch messages button as Apple likes to call it and then on the button that looks like a video camera. From here, you can simply click an image and draw on it. Once you are done, simply tap on the little blue arrow and that's it. You can even add stickers to message bubbles now. Simply tap on the App Store icon inside iMessages, swipe to the sticker collection, tap and hold on a sticker, then drag and drop it on a message bubble. Next up is the phone app, which fixes a big issue with iOS's UX. The keypad now allows users to edit the digits in a number without having to delete every number following it, which is pretty frustrating if you ask me. In the phone app, let's key in a random number from the keypad. We can simply tap and hold on the number. And there's the familiar magnified text, allowing us to move the cursor to exactly where we want it and replacing only the digits that we need to. Coming on to the accessibility settings in iOS 10, which now feature an improved digital accommodations menu, adding color filter support for those who need it. Heading into accessibility settings, inside the display accommodations menu, there's an option for color filters. Tap on it. We can enable color filters from the toggle and choose from a list of options to edit the colors displayed on the iPhone. Taking a look at Safari, it now has the option to close all open tabs. I would say that's awesome, even though it is somewhat hidden in plain sight, because when you open as many tabs as I do, closing them one by one is a pain. All we have to do is tap and hold on the tab switcher in Safari, and up pops a menu with the option to close all tabs. Also new in Safari is the ability to finally export web pages as PDFs. Although this involves a lot of work, it definitely is a feature. We can tap on the share button inside Safari, swipe over and select the print option, pinch out to zoom into the web page, tap on the share button again, and we can share the PDF directly via a third party app or we can save it to iCloud Drive. Those were the best new tricks in iOS 10. To learn how to install the beta on your device, read our article from the link in the description below. And yes, subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss out on more such useful tech videos and don't forget to hit that like button. Until next time, thanks for watching.